I actually split up with my girlfriend because I found out she was cheating on me. Yeah, yeah. The thing is though, and this might change some of your sympathies, I found out by reading her diary. Oh, oh yeah. It's pato season. No, um, it's, very, it's very hard to maintain the moral high ground when you're in that kind of situation. Uh, uh, you know, I say to them, you know, you've been cheating on me, I've read your diary, we've both done a bad thing. Who's worse? You kind of get off your high horse and get onto a kind of slightly stoned Shetland pony. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. So, um, I didn't know right what to do, so um, I thought we had to dump this girl. So I invited her around to my flat, and I thought, once well, she gets here, I'm going to say, you've been cheating on me, I'm going to leave you. And she made leave you. So I invited her around, and she was on the way to my flat, and I saw her coming up the street, and I thought, when you get here, you've been cheating on me, I'm going to leave you. So as she knocked on the door, I opened the door, and just looked at her and said, let's go to Sainsbury. <laughs> yeah, I panicked. At the last minute, I bought it out. I couldn't say, I'm, I'm going to leave you. So we went to Sainsbury. So I'll tell you now, that was a very tense shopping experience, because um, we were in Sainsbury's, and I bought milk, <laughs> and I bought yoghurt, and I bought cheese, and by this point she knew that I was pissed off, because uh, she's lactose intolerant, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, I took her home and made her this big bowl of dairy goodness, but eat that, you lying cheating whore! Yeah. <laughs> 